Welcome to Journeyman Electrician Exam Practice Test. Our topic today is Conductor Ampacity and Sizing. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of the following is not a nonlinear load? A. Information technology equipment. B. High intensity discharge lighting. C. Incandescent lamp. D. Fluorescent lamp. The correct answer is C. Incandescent lamp. Explanation. The neutral is considered a current-carrying conductor on a four-wire, three-phase Y circuit, where the major portion of the load consists of nonlinear loads. Examples of nonlinear loads are high-intensity discharge lighting and fluorescent lighting, information technology equipment, computers, and data processing equipment. Incandescent lamp is an example of linear loads. Number 2. A size 6 AWG copper conductor with THW insulation is installed in an area where the ambient temperature is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Determine the allowable ampacity of the wire. A 24.4 amperes. B 30.2 amperes. C 35.6 amperes. D 43.55 amperes. The correct answer is D43.55 amperes. Explanation. To solve this problem, first we locate the wire size on the left side of table 310.15B16 and look to the right under the copper THW column, with a temperature rating of 75 degrees Celsius, and note the ampacity of the wire is 65 amperes at normal operating temperature. Then, we apply the values as shown in table 310.15b2a look to the right side of the table, where the ambient temperature is shown as degrees Fahrenheit, and find the ambient temperature of 130 degrees Celsius. Next, we follow that line to the left, where the line intersects with the 75 degrees Celsius column, temperature rating of conductor, to find our correction factor of 0.67, or 67%. Finally, to find the allowable ampacity of the conductor, multiply the two values together and get the answer of 43.55 amperes. Number 3. Determine the derating factor that must be applied to the ampacity of seven current carrying conductors in a conduit that has a length of 50 and contains three other conductors. A. 45%. B. 50%. C. 70%. D. 80%. The correct answer is C70%. Explanation. Based on the table 310.15B3A, the derating factor that must be applied to the ampacity of seven current carrying conductors is 70% or 0.7. Number 4. What is the minimum size copper SE cable with type XHHW insulation that may be used as ungrounded service entrance conductors for a 150 ampere, 120 or 240 volt single phase residential service? A. 1 or 0 AWG. B. 1 AWG. C. 2 AWG. D. 3 AWG. The correct answer is B. 1 AWG. Explanation. According to section 310.15B71. We get the demanded current intensity is calculated as 124.5 amperes. Hence, size 1 AWG XHHW copper conductors with an ampacity of 130 amperes should be selected from the 75 degrees Celsius column of table 310.15B16. Number 5. 3 size 1 or 0 AWG THW copper current carrying conductors are contained within a raceway, where the ambient temperature is 120 degree Fahrenheit. What is the allowable ampacity of the individual conductors? A 113 amperes. B 130 amperes. C 146 amperes. D 150 amperes. The correct answer is A113 amperes. Explanation. Follow the table 310.15B16, we have the ampacity of size 1, or 0 AWG THW, before derating is 150 amperes. Then look up in table 310.15B2A for the appreciated correction factor. 
With the ambient temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit, we have the factor of 0 0.75 or 75%. 150 amperes multiplied by 0.75 equals 112.5 amperes, round to 113 amperes. Number 6. You are to serve a 240 volt, single phase, 3 wire, 200 ampere non continuous load in an area where the expected ambient temperature is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Using 75 degrees Celsius rated aluminum conductors and considering terminations are rated at 75 degrees Celsius. Determine the minimum size conductors required to supply the load. A 250,000 circular mill. B 300,000 circular mill. C 350,000 circular mill. D 400,000 circular mill. The correct answer is C 350,000 circular mill. Explanation. Table 310.15 B2A indicates that the temperature correction factor is 0.82. Therefore, the required ampacity equals 200 amperes divided by 0.82 equals 243.9 amperes. We apply the table 310.15 B16 and have aluminum conductors 350 kmil size rated for 75 degrees Celsius with an ampacity of 250 amperes. Number 7. Which of the following is known as the maximum current that a conductor can carry continuously under the conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating? A. Demand factor. B. Continuous load. C. Branch circuit rating. D. Ampacity. The correct answer is D. Ampacity. Explanation. Ampacity is the maximum current, in amperes, that a conductor can carry continuously under the conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating. To get a better understanding of ampacity, perhaps we might consider it as current carrying capacity, or the maximum amperage a conductor can carry without damaging the conductor under its insulation. Number 8. Under which of the following conditions is the neutral, not to be counted as a current carrying conductor? A when it is only carrying the unbalanced current of a single-phase system. b. When it is the neutral of a three-phase, Y-connected system where the major portion of the load consists of nonlinear loads. c. Both a and b. d. Neither a nor b. The correct answer is a. When it is only carrying the unbalanced current of a single-phase system. Explanation. The first section of NEC 310.15 B5 states that if the neutral conductor carries only the unbalanced current from other conductors of the same circuit, it is not necessary to count the neutral as a current carrying conductor. Number 9. Determine the maximum allowable current carrying capacity of a size 4AWG copper conductor with THWN insulation installed in a conduit 10 feet in length with five other current carrying conductors. A 52 amperes. B 60 amperes, C 68 amperes, D 85 amperes. The correct answer is C 68 amperes. Explanation. Table 310.15 B16 indicates that the ampacity of size 4AWG THWN before derating equals 85 amperes. Then, look up the adjustment factor in Table 310.15 B3A. The adjustment factor is 80% or 0.8. We multiply 85 amperes by 0.8 and get the answer of 68 amperes. Number 10. What is the allowable ampacity of a size 2A WGTHW copper conductor installed in a conduit longer than 24 inches when there are three other current carrying conductors contained in the same pipe? A78 amperes. B84 amperes. C86 amperes. D92 amperes. The correct answer is D92 amperes. Explanation. When there are more than three current carrying conductors in a raceway or cable, the ability of the conductors to dissipate heat is reduced. Therefore, when this condition exists in a raceway or cable longer than 24 inches the allowable ampacity of each conductor shall be reduced in Table 310.15 B3A. 
First, find the ampacity of the conductor before derating, as shown in Table 310.15B16, that is 115 amperes. Then, apply the appropriate adjustment factor of 0.8 for four conductors as shown in Table 310.15B3. Finally multiply them together then we get the answer of 92 amperes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.